Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the anatomy of breath. So we're going to be talking about that posterior lateral rib cage breath and really talking to the diaphragm here. So I'm going to have Jen turn around so we could better see her. So what we want to try to encourage in our clients are many different breath patterns. We don't want to just stick with one because we want to cross train the breath. We do so many different things in our lives and in our bodies during the day. We want to have as many breath patterns as we need to really facilitate what we do outside of the studio. So what we want to think about is breathing into the side rib cage, right? And so if you want to think about it, you know, the diaphragm is a deep internal muscle and a lot of people have no idea what it feels like to contract and expand it. So what I like to think about in this is I want to think about the line of attachment where the diaphragm is into the rib cage. And I'm going to bring some external outside cueing from props to help the clients feel this expansion and contraction a little bit better. So the first one we're going to go with is our good old TheraBand. So Jen, I'm going to help you. And you're going to cross that in front of you and underhand the band. So again, what I'm doing is I want to cue an internal shift in feeling, so I'm putting an external prop for Jennifer to feel it. Good. So Jen's hands are crossed in front of her. You know what, Jen, will you turn around just real quick just to show? She has it right underneath her rib cage. Her elbows are dropped, her collarbone's wide, and she has just a little bit of tautness in the band. Perfect. Go ahead and turn back around. Thank you kindly. So Jen, I want you to feel this band around you, even if you have to put a little bit of a pull into the band. Good. And I want you to inhale and try to stretch this band wide and to the side. And then on your exhale, I want you to feel the band pull into you as your lungs empty. Good. And inhale. Can you widen the band, trying to make it as full as you can. And then exhale. Let the ribs drop one on top of another. Good. And you can see, and go ahead and cycle the breath, Jen, how she's having this nice little feedback loop between what's happening internally, the feeling of the band externally, and she even has the bands in her hands. She, she can feel this little push-pull from her breath. Good. So now go ahead and take that out, Jen. And the second little prop that we can use are the overballs. So I, yep, I'll take that and I'll switch you. So what I want you to do, Jen, is put them underneath your arms. And so again, you know, for your clients that have a very hard time uh, separating the breath from the shoulders, uh, this is a wonderful cue. Again, here is where the diaphragm inserts into the rib cage. This is where the diaphragm lives. So we have an external cue here. So Jen, I want you to inhale and try to reach your ribs into these overballs, letting the arms be heavy on top of them. And then exhale, let the balls press into your rib cage. Actually, Jen, this is a very good cue for you. Inhale, expand the lower ribs into the balls. And exhale, feel your skeleton just drape and drip over them. And again, inhale, you can see how the props are reacting to the breath a little bit more on the right side. Ah, there you go, Jen, very nice. And exhale, let's do that one more time. And try to make that right lung fill up with air. Ah, much better, good. And you can see and compare the difference between the two sides and rest. Very good. So there's a few tips on how to teach that posterior lateral breath, and we'll see you again soon.